so we're going to do some front lunges. Front lunges can be a little bit of a balance challenge for some folks. So I'm going to face you at first so you can see the placement of the feet. So if I think about being balanced on both feet, I'm going to step forward. And notice I'm not trying to step on a balance beam. I'm actually going to keep my feet about hip width apart. So from here, before you even start to sink down, think I'm going to kind of almost like I'm trying to squeeze a yoga block that's not really there between my thighs, but just a little perch. And then glide down. The knee does not have to touch the floor. And then push the floor away. And then you'll step. We can do the other side. We step, keep our distance between the hips, glide down, push the floor away. Now, if that's hard for you, if you're feeling clicking and popping in the knees, you don't have to alternate with the full step. You can step in, slide the knee down, and press, and you can do this for 25, and then switch and do the other side. So there's no need to push the floor away and come back over your feet. Instead, you can just stay right here. Now, notice I'm not leaning forward. I don't have a heavy heart. I'm keeping my heart high, my ribs over my hips, and I'm sinking my tailbone towards the floor. So I end up with those two 90 degree knees. And then I push the floor away, sink and push. So that's one. You can stay right here. There's no need to push and step. And then coming into the other side. One other variation of that, push and step, is if it's hard for you to alternate left, right, left, right, maybe you push and go right back to the same foot. Okay? So three options there. Get into the lunge and basically toss up and down in it for 25 each side, or stay on the same side and step in and out of it, or for the third layer, step in and out, but alternate legs as you do, okay? If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me.